Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to discuss about some of the crazy design fails, mostly interior designs. So let us dive in, shall we? First up, the drain that goes up. Why would somebody elevate a drain from the floor? The water is supposed to glow down the drain and if you elevate it from the floor, how on earth do you expect the water to go down? We never know. This sink. Why would somebody even get the sink protruding out when you can actually put it back against the wall and it would be perfectly fine? Why? This one is definitely the most cringiest design fail I have seen. Imagine trying to scrub that thing. And well, as we have come to stones, I have one more of such an artifact. The rock bed. Bang your head into the headrest and voila, you have a split head. I have a question for you. What do you think this room is? Let me tell you, and I promise you won't believe it. This is a bathroom. Surprised, right? Because the paint and other things just look like it's a kitchen. Imagine you go to your friend's place and walk into this room and like, hey, where's the cereal? Open the cupboard and see. Wait a second. This is a bathroom. No, seriously. This great wooden plank that is exactly in the middle of a living room. You're running late for an appointment and you bang into that thing. Your appointment is a secondary thing. The thing that you need immediately now is a doctor's appointment. It's nothing wrong about this fridge, is there? Wait until you see it from the other perspectives. Why would you detach a fridge from the whole kitchen? And why on earth would you put it exactly in the middle of a walking way? I guess this house does have a lot of first aid kits because you're going to have people moving around the house with cracked heads because of banging into that thing. What does this look like? Maybe some tiles under a microscope, right? Well, not really. The tiles part, yes, but it's not under a microscope. That is the design of the tile. Imagine going to somebody's house for doing the cleaning work and then sitting for hours and hours scrubbing the table drop trying to understand why the stains won't go. Absolute waste of time and idiocity. I thought gates were supposed to stop people entering into the house. But does this gate do that? Well, the answer is an absolute big no. You can just walk around the gate and you can enter the house. Plus the gate is so short that you can actually jump over it. Even a dog can jump over it. Then why do you even have the door? And plus there's a notice which says keep the door gate locked and closed. Dude, there's no use of keeping it locked and closed because it's so small that people can actually just walk around it. And this great furniture disaster. Everything just keeps banging into each other. First, to become an architect or a carpenter, I suggest that you take math classes so you'll understand 
measurement so you can actually measure the things properly and give proper spaces instead of banging things into each other seriously and this is another of such math design fails how would you even open the dishwasher if you like this video then smash that like button share it and also comment about it and don't forget to subscribe to thinking hats also don't forget to ring the bell icon to get notifications whenever we post new videos do you have any questions you want to hunt out the answers for if yes then type them in the comment section below and we'll take them up for you in any other video together we learn so signing off for now see you in the next video